order. Let all your things have their places. Let each part of your business have its time. Or, a place for everything, and everything in its place. For families, we have what's written in Ephesians 5 and 6. Wives, submit to your own husbands as to the Lord. For the husband is head of the wife, as also Christ is head of the church, and he is the savior of the body. Husbands, love your wives, just as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for her. So husbands ought to love their own wives as their own bodies. He who loves his wife loves himself. For no one ever hated his own flesh, but nourishes and cherishes it, just as the Lord does the church. Nevertheless, let each one of you in particular so love his own wife as himself, and let the wife see that she respects her husband. Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honor your father and mother, which is a first commandment with promise, that it may be well with you, and you may live long on the earth. And you fathers, do not provoke your children to wrath, but bring them up in the training and admonition of the Lord. For your kids, consistency in all things, especially scripture. Weak Christian parents often lead to weak Christian kids, and those kids tend to get turned away to the messages of the world. For your spouse, regular love and aff affection, cherishing the wife, respecting the husband. When friends see the pattern of successful marriage and child raising, the bond and togetherness a husband and wife holds that goes beyond decades, and the scriptural knowledge, morals, and wisdom of their children, they will have no doubt that God's word is working through us. For our lives in general, remember Colossians 3 verses 23 through 25. And whatever you do, do it heartily, as to the Lord and not to men, knowing that from the Lord you will receive the reward of the inheritance, for you serve the Lord Christ. But he who does wrong will be repaid for what he has done, and there is no partiality. We live and work for God, not ourselves or for man. With our forces and efforts where they need to be, we naturally avoid so much darkness and evil in the world. And by keeping order in the family, with you at work, and with your life internally, it's easier to keep your spiritual life in order as well.